We want for people to be their brother's keeper because um, we want to be able to, you know, monitor and ensure that we don't go to a stage like some of our other Caribbean uh, neighbors. So we don't want to wait until we see drastic changes in our system. What we're doing is um, advising the public now through the prohibition notices that we want you to curb your excessive water use. We're Director of Engineering Charles Leslie briefing the media on what to expect as we conduct another investigation to determine how the drought is impacting our water supply. Well, we're back at the Bowenston Well and Pumping Station on this edition of Water Wednesdays for yet another exploration mission. We're going to go down 300 feet yet again to try to find out how much water is in our groundwater reserves. As you know, we're in a drought situation here in Barbados. We are trying to find out how severe. Elvin Jordan, he's an engineer with the Barbados Water Authority. He's leading today's expedition. Tell us what, how important is this right now for the Barbados Water Authority? It's very important. Uh, basically what we want to ascertain is the level drop. We want a level drop within the Bormanston now. Uh, we've had a sustained rate period. We've had two days of rain However, the impact, it would be insignificant. However, once we get there, we will see, compared to what we did last year, compared to what we did in the year before, what the levels are like. Are we all geared up and we're ready to go? The stream water um, wells um, that we extract water from are established at the higher elevations like Bowmanston, Sweetville, Applewitz, and those types of areas. Because the, these wells are at the higher elevations. As we go through dry periods, these wells are the ones that are influenced first. Once that input from the rainfall is reduced, then these wells begin to um, experience it first. And that experience is, is, is shown in terms of the water levels within the, um, the wells. Well, we are back. We were down in Bowmanston Well for about roughly an hour or so to examine the levels of the water down there. I mean, Elvin, it was a good expedition, but not so encouraging signs as far as what we saw in terms of where the levels are at. Yes. Typically, once we have excess water, water will be flowing over the top of the dam. We would have recognized that the water level would have been in the region of 8 to 12 inches below the top of the dam yeah. and there was no water going over the top and when you look at the downstream after the dam you would recognize you only had about four to six inches of water uh, and when you think about that when you look at the fact that the water is not over the dam and then we had some heavy downpours over the past few days that would have increased the water level significantly. I know the water normally percolates and it takes about three months generally. Why isn't it that case when you look at the Bowmanston Well? It explains why the water gets downstream so fast. Because Bowmanston Well is basically a cave system. So the water enters at the mouth of the cave and just traverses down to Bowmanston Well, similar to water in a pipe. Hence the need for this prohibition notice and that's why that's so critical as far as what we just saw. Yes. This just shows you why you need to play your part and conserve water. Of course, you can get more information on the prohibition notice on our website. That's www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. Go to our socials on Facebook and Instagram for additional information as well. Or subscribe to our Water Wednesdays channel on YouTube to let us take you down in the well here at Bowmanston. You can find us there. First of all, it was adventurous. I enjoyed it. It's a lot of effort and it's a lot of work. It was a real experience. It's something that I would have never expect to see. An exceptional experience and I would definitely do it again. The experience was my blowing. Um, to see that the 200 plus feet that you had to go on the ground. These Barbados Water Authority workers go above and beyond.